Can you honestly look yourself in the mirror and say, I got a great bargain set of golf clubs there if they didn't arrive in a bin bag? Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at Sanford Springs Golf Club. Believe it or not, 230 pounds has been spent of the contents of this bin liner. Not very strong bin liner either. I might do a top five review series on the best bin liners out in the market to send your golf clubs in. But on a serious note, a lot of you guys do ask me where do I buy my golf clubs to flip? Um, and to be honest, it's gonna be full sets of golf clubs. People that can't be bothered to break them down, sell them individually. Uh, Facebook Marketplace is a great place to obviously find those deals. And this is exactly where I found this collection of Callaway golf clubs I'll open them up I'll show you exactly what we've got in here but then obviously you're not working with professionals and obviously it's going to be sent I can already see that the clubs are somewhat damaged the irons and um, hopefully the woods are in good condition because they're the bits that I really wanted to get and get my hands on and obviously try test and then obviously sell um, uh, but you're gonna at the end of the day if you're working with people that don't do this for a living then there's some upsides there's some downsides but hopefully there's still enough value in this bin bag to make a bit of money on. So with that all being said, I think it's about time we open this majestic bin bag and show you exactly what clubs I've purchased and then go and give them a hit. Guys, if you like this video, please leave it a like, subscribe if you are new. Let's do it. Here we are, the Callaway X2 Hot Bundle Set, 237 pounds, including delivery, um, uh, three woods, three hybrids, and a set of iron seven to sandwich. As I said at the start of this video, I'm looking to split them up and sell them individually. However, they do look like a quite a good set, and I wanna talk about who should be using this kind of set, where you've got a lot more hybrids at the top end of the bag, um, and not so many long irons, um, as well as I want to talk about condition of golf clubs as well. These are a bit battered, they're a bit bruised. However, they're still functioning as a golf club, so if you're not overly concerned of aesthetics, you can really pick yourself up a good deal. So let's get straight into the woods. As I said, the three wood is in immaculate condition, and I've got a five and seven that are a bit battered. I want to talk about what wood should you be using depending on how far you hit a golf ball. Now, if you hit the ball an exceptional way, i.e. 280 yards, you'd be thinking, Simon, surely you want the three wood. I personally wouldn't. I'd go straight to the five wood only because, especially with three woods nowadays, you catch a good one with this, it's going the same distance as your driver. You could argue the fact, yes, but I want that three wood to go into that one par five. Okay, but then you're only bringing one club, just so happens if you hit that great drive and then you've got to hit an exceptional one of this to get on to the green in two. Is it then worth it? The chance of that happening for an amateur golfer, quite unlikely. I would always choose a five wood, especially for my better players. Now, if you're a scratch golfer, you don't need to listen to me because you know exactly what you're doing. But if you've started the game and you've got a lot of clubhead speed, I really do advise putting a five wood in the bag. I think it's a lot more versatile. It's a lot more forgiving. You're going to be able to use it off different tee shots just to find the fairway. It's going to create more backspin. This isn't designed to give you maximum 290 yard three wood length, but it's designed to find the fairway. And if your driver's not hot, the five wood's going to come into play. Now, the three and seven wood, however, um, uh, I would then put in the bag for someone that's slightly got a slightly less clubhead speed. I, you might be a bit steep, therefore the three wood's going to be a great alternative to your driver. And then the seven wood will be great for those out the rough shots, where you just need to get it back into play. Um, again, you could be using these for long par threes as well. Never at any one time would I want someone to have all three woods in the bag at any given time, because it's just not versatile enough. You don't need three woods in the bag to help improve your golf game. Again, seven wood are very sought after. I know this is a bit battered, I know it's a bit bruised, but it's still a seven wood. It's got a good amount of loft, especially how low spinning, there are a lot of balls out there now. You just need a bit of help. And again, if you're hitting your driver 200 yards, seven wood is almost a must. I wouldn't even contemplate a three wood and potentially have a look at a five wood if you wanted something a bit longer. 
Moving on into the rescues because they have definitely been put through it. There's not really one of them that's in great condition, but that is also good for your golf game if you just started. There's nothing worse than spending 200 pounds on a brand new rescue, taking three shots, catching one heavy in the winter, and you've got a massive sky mark where the stones have churned up the face. If you just started the game, get a rescue that's already a bit battered. It's gonna be as good, as forgiving, as powerful, as long as the grip's good and the shaft's good, it's gonna do the job. I've got a four, five, and six, and very similar to my advice, I would say, um, on the woods. Four is obviously going to be for your better player. If you've got an extremely high clubhead speed, you probably won't even want a rescue. Driving on, and that's another video that I might leave for another day, is probably where you want to go down. But I would highly advise if you're a slower club swing player, i.e. you hit your seven iron, 120, I really would look at a six hybrid or five hybrid. Four hybrids, I know people are like, oh, I want a four hybrid um, to give myself more distance. You just haven't got the ball speed you're better off getting a seven wood just because it's going to launch the ball higher and go further and i imagine there's a lot of you watching this video going simon i love my five wood but can't hit my three wood that's kind of why it's got no not enough spin and not enough launch these are all pretty bad and bruised however i'm still personally looking to get 40 pounds 45 pounds for them um uh, and again with the woods 60 pounds for the bad ones i'm hoping 70 to 80 for the immaculate three wood and then the irons 100 pounds i think i kind of worked that out when i did my maths that i should be making about 400 pounds on all of this i.e 170 on the lot and as i said at the start of the video you guys always ask me simon how do you make money flipping clubs where are you looking well this is kind of an ideal set these serve a purpose. No, they're not the best hybrid that's ever come out in the world. Um, no, they're definitely not in the right condition. But if you're looking for a four hybrid, i.e. you've got five iron and then you've got a three wood and a driver, well, putting like 45 pounds into this is gonna add some of the value to your game. You're gonna get more enjoyment out of the game and it's 45 pounds. And moving on to the lower end of the bag, I kind of saw these a bit of a bonus with the woods on top. Um, uh, seven to sand wedge, the seven iron, the kind of shafts come a bit loose there, so I'm gonna have to reshaft that. Um, but overall, graphite shafts, sought after, multi-compound grips, sought after. Seven to sand wedge, which isn't gonna suit everyone. But I'll tell you who this will suit. This will suit um, uh, lady golfers. This will suit your 60 age year old plus range. So if you just started the game and you're over 60, I would advise potentially having a look at these. Um, uh, juniors, that's kind of it. There's nothing fancy. There's no bells or whistles. But if I was to spend £100 on a package set of irons or £100 on a set of these, it'd be these all day long. They're built to last. They're Callaway. They're good brand you're gonna grow your confidence with them. And also, let's be honest, you buy these, you can sell them to 60 pounds or hand them down to someone else. It's not breaking the bank and it will definitely help your golf game if you've just started. So guys, there you have it. Quick video today on my Callaway pin bag set. Um, if you've got any questions, do leave them down below. As I say, I just want to give you some information on the kind of clubs that I look for to flip, as I do get that question quite a lot, um, as well as give you a bit more advice on the wood section of the bag, what you should be looking for, depending on where you are in your game, how fast you hit it, uh, and what you want that club to actually do when you're out on the golf course. Anyway, guys, if you wouldn't mind leaving this video a like, subscribing if, you're, if you are new, you. Catch you guys later.